Dear visitors, dear guests, panelists, ladies and gentlemen, warm welcome to you. I'm very happy, together with Mr. Props, to be able to open the ninth Open Forum at Davos today. It takes a great deal of work for this Open Forum to be organized both on organization and on the issues to be discussed. There is a partnership between the uh, Swiss Federation of Protestant Churches and the World Economic Forum to bring this about. Open Forum says what it stands for. We want to have an open debate in an open uh, forum. It's meant to build bridges and at the Open Forum, the World Economic Forum meets with uh, civil society, with uh, the people at large, with Davos. We're going to have an open debate facing the major issues pertaining to the global economy and the major issues of justice, peace, the meaning of life and preservation of the earth. At the last year's Open Forum, we presented a study on uh, fair financial management, and it's now available in a printed version. And my predecessor, Thomas Whip, wrote in the preamble, and I quote, that uh, there is no alternative between uh, working uh, as pertinent to the issue and as pertinent to human beings. They always have to be combined, and it is an ob objective to reconcile these issues, and that's the end of the quote. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, Protestant churches in Switzerland take their mission seriously to uh, preach the gospel in a credible manner. There is a different logic from money, financial matters, and there is a different truth from the truth of power. But this other type of logic has to stand its ground. It's got to justify itself, and it's got to deal with the issues at stake. That is why I'm very happy that we can try and do this again here at the Open Forum. I have great respect of the World Economic Forum opening up to the public at large. Professor Props, I would like to thank you on behalf of the Federation of Swiss Protestant Churches. And on this, I hand over the floor to you. Herzlich willkommen. Welcome on behalf of the World Economic Forum. Welcome to this open forum of Davos, and you heard it before. This is an idea of not only dealing with interesting subject matters, but to share and have an exchange with those who would like to have a dialogue. For a number of years, we have tried to enact the idea of the World Economic Forum here at the Open Forum to build communities on the one hand and on the other hand to bring together all the lobbyists and all those representing in the interests pertaining to the issues at stake. So what we want to have first and foremost is a debate and a dialogue. It's a two-way thing. It's not one-way information. It's meant to be a two-way dialogue. It's a giving and taking process. You heard it. We're going to deal with fundamental issues and whether the church, uh, whether faith needs churches or how to do away with corruption. We are also going to touch upon social, political challenges around the world economy today, such as the uh, success or failure in Afghanistan or indeed the future of the euro, the role and the uh, influence of the euro. And add to this personal questions such as the burnout syndrome or the role of sports in society, violence, and uh, too much demand on performance in sports. So the World Economic Forum does seek to bring together all those representing interests, not only to have them uh, be part of the daily dialogue at the Congress Center, but you will have seen, and that's your opportunity as well, that the World Economic Forum does open up to the public at large 
tries to integrate it by twittering as well, twittering of the debates going beyond the sessions that we have and that you can also view on uh, Swiss television. And uh, we also make use of social media where participants uh, can put questions, say, through Facebook and get uh, answers from Paulo Coelho or Bill Gates. And do please follow the blogs on the forum blog. Yesterday, we had 1.4 million people signing up on the forum blog using tweet feed from Davos. And uh, you have an opportunity to put questions also through YouTube. You get uh, films to watch uh, daily on uh, YouTube. We have more than 100 video clips showing on YouTube. So you see there's an open dialogue based on some policy and principles that we are enacting. I think it's very nice to see that all sorts of interests from the business world, politics, the academic world, social institutions, the media or religious leaders are integrated to talk at the same table about uh, those important issues. Today we're going to kick off with a high profile uh, subject matter, the Euro, with an excellent panel here on stage. It's going to be a debate. We actually uh, triggered uh, nine months ago. We defined to have it nine months ago when based on scenarios and risk assessments, we said, well, this is a real subject to discuss it. And today, uh, it's really a very topical thing. Uh, the question as to which extent uh, strengthening of the uh, euro e economies can be related to the euro and how long the countries will be able to meet the objectives of the Stability and Growth Pact. I am proud to have such a prestigious uh, podium, such a prestigious panel. Enjoy it as participants. Uh, it's free of charge for you. But uh, you should also make your own personal contribution, seeking the dialogue, putting questions. So I'd like to welcome you and the panelists very cordially passing on the floor to Mrs. Ville at this point. Thank you.